I beseech you, brethren, ye know the house of Stephanus, that it is the first fruits of Achaia, and that they have addicted themselves to the ministry of the saints, that ye submit yourselves unto such, and to everyone that helpeth with us and laboreth. So we, we not only have to submit ourselves to God, which He's the head, we need to submit to one another. And not just to people that attend church and drop their money in the plate, but it says here, they addicted themselves to the service. And that's what Christianity is. It, it's not a club that we just come and hang out. It's a lifestyle. Amen. It's an addiction to serving our Father. Amen. And those are the kind of people we can faithfully submit ourselves to. Because we will never belittle or berate one another if we're true Christians. We will always uplift and edify one another. And the second scripture that he gave me is in Hebrews chapter 13 verse 17. Obey them that hath the rule over you, and submit yourselves, for they watch for your souls, as they that must give account, that they may do so with joy, and not with grief, for that is unprofitable to you. So we got to be careful who we submit ourselves to. We got to we got to know first that they're submitted to God, and second that they're submitted to this word. If they're submitted to God and submitted to this word, then we can submit to them and to one another. But, but like I said, we got to we got to be prudent because there are a lot of people out there that preach that preach from their own knowledge and understanding, and not from the will of God. And the the next scripture he gave me was James chapter four verse seven. And this is a scripture that, that a lot of Christians quote in part more than they ever quote in, in total. It says, Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Now I can't tell you the number of times I've heard people quote, Resist the devil and he will flee from you. That's not what the scripture says. That leaves out the most important part. First, you've got to submit yourself to God. If you're not submitted to God, it doesn't matter how much you resist the devil. He's not required to flee from you. That's right. Come on. And the next scripture is 1 Peter 2.13. Submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king as supreme or to governors as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of them that do well. For so is the will of God that with well-doing ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. So the Bible clearly tells us that as long as the, man, the laws of man do not contradict the laws of God, we're required to obey those laws whether we agree with them or not. Because we're to, set us, we're to stop the, the slander of foolish niggas. If, if somebody out there, somebody in that lost and dying world can point their finger at us and truthfully say they've seen us in criminal acts breaking the law, our testimony is in the toilet, people. That's right. Come on. All right. And I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not perfect. Sometimes I don't, my speedometer don't quite line up with the sign. <laughs> and I need, I need to fix that. Because every ordinance of man, if it doesn't contradict the laws of God, my Bible tells me I'm to obey it. Right. Not just the ones I agree with, not just the ones I think are right, but every ordinance of man that doesn't contradict the laws of God. Come on. Right. And the last scripture he gave me is 1 Peter 5 and 5, where it says, Likewise, ye younger, 
submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with the humility of God. Resisteth the proud, for God resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. Yes. Now this isn't talking about chronological age. There's nothing wrong with respecting your elders because they have gray hair, but wisdom doesn't guarantee, isn't guaranteed to come with old age and gray hair. Mm -hmm. Wisdom is, on the other hand, guaranteed to come with a prolonged life with God. Yes. Yes. And that's what this scripture is talking about. It's not talking about chronological age, it's talking about spiritual age. It's talking about Christians that have served God for a short period of time need to submit themselves to Christians that have followed God for a long period of time. Because we can learn from the elders of the church. There's some things we might be able to learn just from old people. But we can definitely learn things from elders in the church. People that have lived for God for 30, 40 years know more than somebody that's lived for God for two years. I mean, that's just common sense. And, but... I thank God that he's put me in a place where I feel that I can submit myself to people that love my God and love me. Because I was raised in a fellowship that was very critical, very judgmental. And it caused me to be critical and judgmental. And I wasn't fit for anybody to submit to. And I thank God that he's, he's reprogramming me Amen. To be what he wants me to be. Amen. Not to follow the doctrine of man, All right. but to follow this. Amen. To submit myself first to God yes. and second to this holy word. Yes. And after that I can submit myself through the spirit of discernment to brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen. Because I, have, I haven't been serving God a prolonged period of time, but I have experienced the gift of discernment. And God tells me who to listen to and who not to listen to. Because he loves me and he doesn't want me confused. And if we stay in prayer and in constant communication with God, he will tell us who to submit to and who not to submit to. Yes, yes, yes he will. Yes, yes. And I, I don't know what God has in store for me, but I want to be submissive to whatever he has in store for me. Amen. And I made a vow to God that I'll never stand in the pulpit and speak words of my knowledge and understanding. Because there are things I know, but if I'm not speaking what God had me speak, then I need to be sitting in that chair and not standing up here. And I know that wasn't a lot and it wasn't long, but it's what God gave me. I love and appreciate you all. Thank you.